welcome to the Knights of the Smith Dinner Table actual play video of our Saga of the Sun and Scale. Now, this is a special episode, just in part because this is number 20. We've actually been recording 20 episodes of this. So without further ado, to move this on down the road, I'm going to pass it off to our Game Master, Mr. Mike Lawson. Well, when last we left our comedy of errors... Uh, Cinder decided to channel his best imitation of Team America World Police and Durka Jihad all over everything, and <laughs> not only killed most of the bad guys, uh, they wiped them off, off screen, as he also killed the server. I so am still not sorry. So we start with Madeira healing everyone and just saying, I, I need some time, and walks off into the woods to contemplate, to get back zen with nature, leaving the rest of the party nursing some wounds. What are you guys going to do? Flynn's going to go up and high-five the fuck out of Cinder, because that was sweet. High-fiving <laughs> him right in the forehead? Yeah. Just bear hugging him, probably yelling oppression. But he's gonna be like, "Now nah, that's that's fighting right there." Well, I, I saw an opportunity and I took it. And then he'll say, "That did hurt a little bit, though." Not gonna lie. But I mean, we had to fight some inliz uh, invisible ghost pain in my ass, and now we got to deal with a swarm. I was done, just done. Yeah, what were they? Repeating. They just kept saying that I didn't really care. I was going to kill him either way, but they just kept talking. Uh, yeah, so. Well, gather around, pull up a log, and it's time for story time. So, we are being accosted by, I guess, what's known as a green hag that we call Smelly Grandma. In our first outing, there was. A hag we came across and quickly defeated, but through the sheer stupidity of a paladin who wanted to keep her alive and a lawyer. As you're telling this story, I need everyone to roll me some blind perception checks. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yikes. You talking? Yes. So. And a lawyer who thought murder was, you know, against the law and whatnot, decided to spare her life, and she has been a thorn in our side because people, well, though their morals may be in the right place, are just idiots. Uh, I assume that lawyer you're talking about is his pip, huh? Yeah, yeah, his pip. Yeah. Just because it's the law doesn't mean that it's the right thing to do. Yeah, he was definitely new to adventure. Um, but maybe you'll learn one day. Cinder, as you're talking, you, you trail off for a second because high above you, a shadow passes over the party. Everyone but Percy notices it because we know dogs can't look straight up. <laughs> I got huge eyeballs. As something large, leathery, and shadowed green against the sun flies to the northeast. Um, I think that's our dragon. I just start frantically like, what are we talking about? <laughs> Uh, I will I will actually walk up to the pug and position it where it can actually look up. There. There, you see it? It's like, you know how we had to deal with lizard bats, lizard birds? Well, it's like a cow and a lizard bird had a baby, and it's beautiful. And how far up is it? Like, far enough to where it's not threatening us at this moment? Yeah, far enough that where it looks like it would be 
like if a, a, a normal bat were flying about 20 feet over your head, that's about the size of this thing, and you can't really gauge how far away it is. But as it heads to the northeast, right before it starts getting out of eye shot, it drops down into the forest. Uh, I think I know where we're going. What, what was that? We... You broke up, Dustin. Oh, I think I know which way we're heading. Yep, that's yeah. Right. <clears throat> uh, but before we do that, Percy, I need you to check me over here. I think I got a few burn wounds. Okay. So you just want to do heal checks? Casting spells. I, you are breaking up. I can't understand a single thing you're saying. I will. Disconnect or reconnect. Before he gets back in, he begs for healing and asks if you want to do medicine checks or heal spells. Medicine checks. All right. How's that? Heal. Who are you? Who are you healing? Um, Flint. I can do another person if anybody else needs healing. No, nah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. I need. I guess I need healing, so I'll do myself and Flint. All right. Two D eight. Why do I have like a strong man thing on my screen? Or it's like a trident. I don't know what it is. What do you mean a strong man thing? Um, you're enfeebled, so you just need to remove that condition. Oh, yeah. So right click on your character. Yeah. I still can't hear you. I got you. I can hear him. Thanks. Yeah, he's cutting in and out for me, which means he's going to be cutting in and out on the stream, too. Don't know how to fix it. Some other people are choppy for me as well, so I don't know if it's necessarily you. Or... <laughs> I got 26 milliseconds for my connection. Do you have the noise suppression thing turned on? Because that... That was causing me some breakups last week. I'll turn it off and see if it's any better, but... Uh, uh, and I'll just need another hit, Percy, when you get done healing a couple other people. Uh, does anybody cool. else need healed? Um, I mean, I could use a little. All right, I can do you and Flint after Merc. my first turn. Yeah. Merc. Did you get that 12 healing that Madeira put out before she walked away? Yep. Okay. I just manually added it. I could use a few hit points as well if you can do... Uh, oh, he's yeah. alive! <laughs> Oh, back from the dead. Uh, I added the Madeira healed 12 hit points to everyone you weren't around to collect it, so I just added it to you. So I think you're full again. Okay, cool. So that was okay. just a thing, but now I'm full. What you Sorry. missed was we saw the dragon. Is it dead already? Yikes. Um, no, we gotta go get it. Did it, like, run away? It flew overhead. Oh. If you look skyward into the heavens, upwards its scaly green adversary flew to the north... east? <laughs> yeah, northeast. Okay. Then landing <clears throat> on just at the precipice of our vision, set down and we have a target. 
I hope your presentation went well, guy. Uh, I used a potion, Percy, so I should be good now. I appreciate your help. I'm good. Uh, how long is it between your healings, Percy? Uh, ten minutes. Even somebody you had already healed, they get... It only takes ten minutes? Yes. She's got the continuous... Heat. Recovery. And nothing attacks you in that 20 minutes. What well, are you guys going to do? I mean, like <clears throat> uh, want to go ahead and head to the northeast and see if we can find this dragon? Yeah, we saw vaguely where it dropped down. Um, so maybe we'll head that way and kind of see if you can scout anything. What kind of distance are we looking at? How far out is it now? Fox well, Bay. somebody would need to make a, a lore check that might help with that, such as... I don't know. Engineering? Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Don't have engineering. I got warfare. Would that help me tell distances between lines of troops? War warfare would help because that would also work with calculating siege engine distance. Arctic lore. All right. When you guys do me a favor, when you make those lore checks, blind them for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want a new one, and if it's worse, take it? No, because you oh, suck. Well, I right-clicked, so that's that's not right, anywho. But Merc does a bit of math and figures that it probably landed six miles, give or take. Six miles, approximately, that way. Okay. <clears throat> and what what do we do for a day of travel? How many miles we do in a day? If you guys are just pushing through, you could get two more miles out of today and probably get to where this thing is by evening tomorrow, given stops and rests and things of that nature. That's really? if it's a horse-sized dragon. If it's a bigger dragon... It would be double that for each step up the dragon is, based off of what Mert's knowledge is. Well, I reckon if we don't run into it in six miles, we don't want to fight it. I say let's go. Continue on. Well, do you guys want to push on for about three or four miles and pursue with caution the last two or three? Yeah, well, we're going to go to you and camp, okay. and then Pick it up. move it next tomorrow. Okay. We should keep an eye on the area to see if it takes to the air. You. Yeah. God, I wish I could fly. That'd be so helpful right now. Well, for the next two miles that we're moving, um, <clears throat> I can go ahead and scout ahead and just kind of take it. Take point. Um, yeah, we go slower if you scout ahead, though. You do go slower if he scouts ahead. Yeah, just make haste. That's fine. We get better down tonight. Uh, Klaus, will you give me a blind survival check to find a good spot to camp? Yep. Aren't these blind rolls wonderful? No. I absolutely love blind rolls, because it allows me the ability to fudge if I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, <clears throat> so it's survival? <clears throat> All right. Let me find my um, skills. Uh, basically, what I, what works is if it's outside of combat and it's not something you need personal. Okay. All right. Do you want me to re-wall it? <laughs> no, that was blind. 
Two. Okay. Yeah, it shows the blind. Yep. Uh, you know what? You think you found a really good spot to camp for the evening. All right. We found a good spot, guys. So, uh, yeah. If you if you, uh, if you guys agree, we can go to bed down here. Let's hope for some blind luck. Sounds good for you. Uh, good overhead canopy cover in case the dragon flies over again. It's not going to see a group. It's got a spot where you can actually put a campfire and hide the smoke so that won't alert the dragon, as well as you're pretty sure it's uh, free from any natural predators. That sounds well swell. Well. And what watches are we doing tonight? I'll take first. No. No, I'm gonna take first. I don't have dark vision. Okay. I can take last. I will take one in the dark. I'll be the sender, I guess. Yeah, there's only four of us, so they're all there. Are five you need three watches. Jade, Jade will go with Klaus in the wee early morning watch. I'll help yeah, with I'll the first take. watch. Yeah. And then I will do second, and Cinder can do third. Uh, it was Merc and Flint on first. No, Merc and Cinder. Merc and um, Pugsy. Oh, Merc and Purse. Oh, I said I would do okay, it. It does, doesn't matter. The night passes without incident. It's a cool morning, and you guys are trying to push to get to where this dragon is. All right, let's move out, folks. Onward. Yeah, let's get it on. Move through the day. And everyone, go ahead and give me some blind perception checks. George? As the morning passes without incident. Ooh. Overcast. Light drizzles. <clears throat> Uh, Cinder, we're missing your perception check. Oh, sorry. Cinder was, uh, you know, uh, it's not going to work anyway. So that means this he critically little... failed then, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. It doesn't really matter to me. Because, you know. I'm Cinder's not getting yelled at by Madeira, who's asleep. Right. <clears throat> Now, since this is something we've talked about from the get, uh, and Madeira isn't gone from the party, she's just recuperating, um, there are four anti-venoms that she hands, one to Flint, one to Klaus, one to Jade, and one to Percy. There's Mark's not going to get close enough to the dragon to get hit. Percy gets hit by everything. And she's not really a big fan of Cinder at the moment. <laughs> so everyone can reach into the equipment bag and grab a vial of anti venom and put it on your character. Anti plague. Anti venom. That's what, sorry? Anti-plague. Anti-plague, okay. Not anti-plague, antidote, because the dragon breathes poison, oh. and it'll give you... Antidote. Okay, antidote. Like against, saves against poison. Cool.
And I assume we would already be drinking these, though, is one way. Uh, no, you want to drink them. Okay. Does it last six hours? Yeah, that's what it says. Okay, so yeah, you you have you know you'll probably get to it this evening sometime. So maybe about three o'clock is when you guys oh. want to drink them. Perfect. Let's see what. Oh. Um, as far as the perception checks go, Klaus and Flint, you guys are noticing a lot more, uh, traffic through here. There's a lot more, um, looks like where something's swooped down, grab something, uh, you see a track here or there that looks like it could be of a large clawed print. Uh, some uh, scratching on trees, that sort of thing. Flint's going to start walking closer to Percy, just so, heaven forbid, it sweeps down and tries to grab her. He might be able to <clears throat> grab her instead or protect her in some way. So it's about 1,500. Gabe looks at the sun, remembers what Madeira said, and chugs her potion. I will do the light. Do we know <clears throat> how long these potions are supposed to last? Six hours. Six, okay. Hours. So if your guys are going to get to the dragon around dusk, now's a good time to drink it. Yep, and I will take mine out and drink it as well. Um, I don't know how to do that, though. I don't know how to hit Click it. Um, if you added it to your inventory, then uh, um, it just says to use it. If not, you get a plus two to your four to save against poisons. So, okay, I don't know how to add stuff. So, figure that just, out later. Just, re just remember, you got a plus two. All right. This, so let me click this button. <clears throat> Woohoo, I'm fully healed. Uh, Very much like that button. So three more hours pass. I need more blind perception checks. And... I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> Flint you know that this thing is close by, but you also notice some hoofed prints that are moving along with the dragon prints. Um, Klaus, do you want to Give me a knowledge you? nature check. Okay. I will do it, and it will be blind. And it is untrained. So I'll mention it to Klaus as well to look at these if he notices them or if not. Okay, Klaus yeah. got a <laughs> Klaus got high enough that you point him out, he definitely sees the tracks and he can give me a knowledge nature check as well. As you're not certain what makes tracks that big with feet like that. <laughs> Sexton, did you hear? What's that? I'm sorry. I had to step away for a second. Very good. Uh, nature check. Blonde. Hi. Nature check as Flint's pointing out some curious large tracks. Okay. You're not certain what would make these tracks either. No, no creature that you're familiar with has a, a foot 
that big that could fit that sort of frack. Uh, I'll go out of the group and just kind of say, be on the lookout for multiple combatants. Uh, the dragon's obviously a threat, but whatever's got hoof prints this big is most likely a threat, too. Bardic Loris? <clears throat> You're, you're pretty sure those would be boar tracks, but you've never seen a boar that big. Um, th those are really big boar tracks. Like, really big. Uh, I've never seen a boar this big. We've had some big hams. <laughs> never seen one like this. Yeah. <clears throat> if a boar were the size of a horse, it would leave tracks like that, you oh, think. It's a boar horse. <laughs> Just be on guard. If it's a boar, it probably has the ability to charge at us from the underbrush. <clears throat> the guard up. Sir. It's as if there's a strange dream of fighting a pile of boars. <sighs> and getting one shot by a boar. Hmm. Been there. <laughs> All right, let's continue. An hour on. later. One hour later. A short time later. <clears throat> What's marching order? What will be first? Oh, I'm gonna be in the middle. <clears throat> Absolutely in the middle with Percy. <laughs> then I would assume Cinder and Klaus. Well, gonna... I want to spread out on a flank, and I think he should spread out on a flank. Dragons do one thing really well: and breathe cones. We need to not be in a bunch. That's fine. We can be um, towards the flank, but uh, <clears throat> I can kind of cover the rear as well, so I can kind of cool, pull rear security um, and cover the sky as well. That's fine. I will be like 20 feet left to right, just jumping from bush to bush. <clears throat> While we're walking, I'm going to hold my dagger just in case something charges us. <laughs> I just imagine the small dog with a trembling dagger in her hand. <laughs> yeah. My eyeballs are huge trying to look both directions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I feel like Clout or not, Mark and I's asses are just touching because we're both looking different directions. <laughs> I'm pulling you to the map. As you load into the map at the bottom end, you're going to see a square. Within that four by whatever square that's showing, place yourself on the starting map, as it were. I'm going to go with some old school battle, uh, mech warrior battles. That's your starting area. You can place your units anywhere you want within that starting area. Oh, no. Why is it so... Hold on. So I'll, I'll kind of just be back here, kind of covering the rear, if everybody else kind of wants to spread out. Look at that perfectly shaped cone we made. It's great. <laughs> As you guys move up, I will um, keep myself in the rear. This is a pretty cool map. 
All right. Yes. Uh, this was from Hawks. I grabbed it off of uh, Reddit. His little. If you're interested in the map, those watching website, he's got conveniently printed at the bottom. Thank you for letting us use this. Honestly, my remote isn't working. I'm trying to move myself, but it's not moving. Give me a second. Do you uh, have your token selected? No, the issue is I gotta I gotta zoom out, and I can't zoom out without using a remote. So I gotta grab a different remote. Ah. <clears throat> you have a remote for your computer? I Apple need. Perception checks from everyone. Perception, perception, or initiative? Perception, perception. All right, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> and the bush. All right, everyone's place. Cinder, give me a perception check. All right, uh, uh, this ain't gonna be good. Can I use stealth since I'm trying to hide? This was not a initiative roll, but you can go ahead and give me a stealth check. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I did it out. So I got it. Yes. All right. Well, it looks like no one's going to be surprised as one of you were able to see all of the critters. And the critters were able to see you. So, everybody go ahead and mark yourselves ready for combat. I would do that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's no active encounter. So, if you right click on your token, the crossed swords and shield at the bottom right. Ah, uh, there it is. Alrighty. <clears throat> what in the world? And go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, no, I rolled. That's the same. It's the same one. I rolled perception and up. Um, it's it's gonna pop up regardless on your screen, so this one doesn't need to be blind. I really have to get peace. So while we're getting this all set up, I'm getting excited. Cinder, go ahead and roll for initiative again. Did I not? You weren't marked ready for combat. How do I mark oneself ready for combat? I'm always ready for I combat. I got it, but, Is that a default? Uh, but when you 
when you select your token, there's a cross sort over bottom right. When you click that, it gets you onto the initiative tracker. But I already got you on there now, so go ahead and roll initiative for me. I mean, it was only one less than what you rolled the first time, so it's okay. You're still last. You're still last. All right. <laughs> It's okay, you're still last. <laughs> As the dragon rears up and says, she warned me you were coming. <clears throat> oh, good. Did he did do that in common. Klaus, it is your turn. <clears throat> All right, well, um, let's see here. So from where, from where I am, um, can I see any of the boars of the dragon uh, up at the top up there? I'm assuming not. You can, they just have cover. Okay. They're concealed. <clears throat> okay. Um, well... Um, I'll go ahead and, and move up, um, so let me get that planned out, let me see where I want to go. Um, I assume everyone has a primary weapon drawn because you knew you guys were coming in to fight. Yeah, I would have already had my bow out. So I'm going to take two strides, uh, basically just move up here, um, and um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to actually just for my last turn go ahead and mark that first boar as my boar prey. Did you hear that, Mike? Yeah, I heard what you said. I just have to reload Foundry real oh. quick. Um, if you look at the combat tracker, when it's your turn, there is a button at the bottom that says in turn, and you'll automatically move the turn marker when you're done. Cool. The dragon takes to the sky. Yep. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Dragon. How high up is it? Uh, it only went up about 20 feet as it moved. Oh, 
what a surprise. Right. Right. So go ahead and uh, if you're in that cone, give me a fortitude save. I think the only one who's not is <clears throat> Mark. 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 Ha! You missed me, bitch. <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> Klaus, with your plus two from the vial, you actually passed your save. Um, so you will click the down arrow. Everyone but Percy, click the burst. And then Percy clicked the double up arrow as you critically failed. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Percy's down. <laughs> uh, Jade is also going to take double damage from that, as she critically failed her save. Oh, Cinder, I'm sorry. Uh, click the damage thing a second time. You critically failed yours as well. You just didn't roll a one. <laughs> you got kind of a weird echo going on, Kristen. So, I take... I did... Or I critically failed, so I take double? You, yes. You rolled... You... Here, I'll reveal your roll, because this one didn't need to be secret. You rolled a 10, which okay. the save was 25. Ooh. Oh. All right, well, that means I'm down and out. I feel like half the party's down and out. Yeah, that was rough. Yep. All right, so that's... Jade, Percy, and Cinder are all dying too. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, um, good. This is good. Oh. Right side, that was the end of the dragon's turn. Well, that's good. Now everybody's where they're at. And using all three move actions, that war stops right there. Wonderful. Ooh. Jade goes from dying two to wounded one, as she completely stabilized. Nice. Uh, 
Flint, what you gonna do? Uh, Flint's gonna move to here with Tony Fur and lunge twice at the dragon. Dragon is 20 feet up in the air. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shit, I forgot it was up in the sky. Um, guess I'll just fight this day, Don. So I'll take a five foot step and target and swing and swing. Mm. All right, the second one. Hit still, I didn't do the right map, but it hit by five, so. Uh, no, you, you hit. So then that does this amount of damage, and that's per turn. All right. Merc, shit went sideways quick. Shit did go sideways. So, first... I shall attempt a lingering composition. Where is my performance? Oh yeah, four rounds. And then I shall inspire courage, which takes one action. So let me get my uh, my area of effect here. <clears throat> All right. Still hit everyone. And I don't think that I can apply the Inspire Courage to anyone else. So do you have that macro? I did not pull it up. It is in the, I want to say, it's in the PF2E macros. So I'll let you place it on everybody else. And then, seeing that the poor pug is down, I am going to throw out one of these. And the healing is gonna be, oh, it didn't do the dice right. All right, a total of 22 to Percy. And that is my turn. Percy, you're wounded and no longer dying. Yeah. A miracle. What? You can't sit that far from your computer. I, I literally have it on my chin. Weird, it sounds like you're coming in through a tunnel. Yep. Is this better? Mm, no. You're still real quiet. And I've even got you turned up to 200% volume. I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> Is that better? No. Holy cow, yeah. And a little echoey. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the echo. I don't know why it's echoey. Um, um, after your turn, why don't you jump out and back into the voice chat? Okay. Are you playing your sound out of speakers and microphone on the computer? Correct. That's what it is. Your your microphone is picking up the sound from your speakers. Gotcha. Yeah, she didn't normally sound cavey like this. I think it's another issue, though. All right. Is that, is that any better? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Um. Oh. oh. She left. Wait until her turn was over, silly pug. Damn pugs. There's all this beeping. Holy, um, that sounds better. I yeah, didn't do anything. Yeah, you were just hitting a glitch with the server. You just needed to back out and back in. But it is still your turn. 
Oh, I literally didn't do anything, but... Um, gotcha. I would like to... Um... So Cinder's dead, well, Cinder's dying too, and then Jade just became conscious, correct? She's wounded? She is not conscious, she is still unconscious, but wounded. No, you're She's okay. not wounded. Right. Um, I would like to, um, I'm going to do a three-action heal, but I can do it in a 60-foot emanation versus a, or a 60-foot cone versus a 30-foot emanation. Ooh. Nifty. I don't know how to bring that up, though. You have it very darn center, so you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Um. See, it doesn't. I can't. I just hit the. So for me, you'll be doing two D ten, right? Yeah. So just down at the bottom, hit the D ten twice with your left click, and then hit roll. Oh. That's all I'm not working. Stop it. Stop. And I assume you're placing this behind you in such a way that it's going to hit you, Jade, and Cinder? That would be marvelous. Okay. So, um, don't forget to hit the heart so you do it for 16. There you go. <clears throat> and then hit next on the combat tracker system. Down the bottom. Yes, sir. Cinder, you are awake. Wounded one. And that dragon pissed you off. Yeah, I guess I'll stand up, dust myself off, and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast uh, that ball of fire and set it on the boar. Ooh. So, or, uh, sorry, orb of fire, flaming orb. Where are we at? Okay, flaming sphere. Yeah, that, the ball that burns. I'm doing that. <clears throat> What's the range on that spell? Uh, hold on. Yep, you're good. Hold the damage for me. Uh, three D six. He likes Let me turn it off the line. There you go. Um. <clears throat> uh, don't know how I threw reflex saves, but whatever. You're just clicking on things, I guess. I guess. Trying to close. Okay. That is all three actions. Press that for... This bar back here... is... <clears throat> I 
takes two move actions to get to there. How many actions? You said two. Does that one left? Yep, but it's dead on charging as well. Uh, Klaus, if you get hit, you will need a reflex save. But you gotta wait to see if it hits you first. Yep. No. But he woke up for a few minutes. You are not not prone. Uh, yep. I figured I'll change. That was fortitude. Oh, sorry. that was fortitude. Give me a reflex. Probably. You are still not not prone. <laughs> but you will take 21 points of damage. Fuck. A matching game. Can I click the um, little uh, full damage thing? Yeah, just click the little burst. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have yourself selected, I think. Okay. What the fuck? You click on the little uh, square and then click on yourself. The uh, bullseye and then yourself. Oh, bullseye and then yourself, okay. Uh, okay, there we go. No, the bullseye is not. Click the X to clear everything. Click the the square next to the person. Click yourself, okay. and then click the damage. I did that, and it's not. I'm not taking it. Mm. All right, I got you. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody gets it except for like certain people. Bobby was it the blind roll um, for the four that was above my first four to two roll? Oh, that could be why because it would roll blind. Yeah, that's probably why you didn't see the damage. Let me switch back to public for the second strike. Wonderful. Miss terribly. All right. <clears throat> it is your turn. Well, I am um, not looking great. So um, that boar number one is already marked as my prey. Excuse me. So um, let's see. Just gonna spend. Um, I guess my first action to go ahead and um, move back there, kind of out of the line of so, so out of the line of fire there. And for my second action, um, I want to take a shot at the first boar that was uh, marked already as my prey. It's a twenty-six. That's at a minus two because you was in your volley as well, as well right? Yep. Yeah. It still is going to hit. Roll damage. Okay. I am now. Six um, plus a D8. Eight. And action number three. Um, I will take another shot at the minus five. Wonderful. That's a big old miss. Hmm. 
If you are in that area, roll me a reflex save. They don't have to make a save until the start of their turn. Oh, okay. And the dragon flies off for a moment. Yeah. All right. Well, this one needs to make its reflex save. <laughs> Damn it. Even throw on that. All right, it failed. So it moves its speed down, but it's just taking a step action anyway. Can you step in difficult terrain? Yes. You're, you're literally just moving one square. Right, but it's not a step action, it's a stride. Oh, you're right. So if you have an attack of opportunity, you can use it. Hit it hard. Nope. That's I, got I, use, I use my hero point on that. Dang. Damn. Uh, that's actually a critical hit. Damn. Holy fuck balls. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's even better. And now it's going to attack. Boo. Don't forget to make it wounded one. Now my dice are working like they do normally. <clears throat> Good. Alright, Jade is prone, Jade is pissed. Her first action is going to be to stand up, her second and third action are going to be to grab her weapon and shield. She does still need to make a reflex save. No. Stand up? Okay, her movement speed's down 10 feet. Clint, your movement speed's down 10 feet. All right, I'm just going to take a five-foot step to there, so it's not in difficult terrain, it's out of it. Okay, you would still have to use the stride action to leave the area, but because you're in the difficult terrain, but it's okay. It doesn't have an attack of opportunity, so it's not like it matters. Okay, so I'm going to strike. How does ferocity work? Monsters are disabled, being knocked out, range at 1 HP. 
So it's got one HP, right? That's what the ability says, yes. Yeah, and since it already used its uh, okay. reaction. So I'll target that one with a lunge, and a plus nine, and a roll to one. So you uh, mark yourself in feeble two. Yep, yeah, that's what it says. Going. All right. So the dragon flew off like the coward that it was. My performance ticks down, so I've got three rounds left. I will move to there. And then I. Oops. Do my own breath weapon. Where's my damn it? And that's going to be two D four. You see on that is uh twenty. <clears throat> and that's my turn. Percy, what you gonna do? I need a reflex save from you. All right. <clears throat> That is a critical fail. You are immobilized. So I just I just can't move. Can I still cast spells? <clears throat> I believe so. I think it's just you can't move. Yeah, you can't move use any action with the move trait. Sorry. Um I went to do battle medicine on Klaus. Gracias. Muy bien. So, 2D8. if you select your token and then up at the top where it has utility, there's actually a macro for treat wounds. Oh, look at you. Okay. That's good. Will that roll for me? So don't, like, don't click it now? or Yeah, don't click it now because it rolls every Okay. Time. Gotcha. Uh, Kristen, you need to remove the dying condition on you as well. I don't know how to do that. Right click on your token. Yeah. Click on the person on the upper right and then right okay. click on the crossed bones. All right. It's an alphabetical order, so dying, just follow it to the D's. She doesn't have the dying condition. I do. I do not. Oh, what's her current condition? Just on the ground? Wounded and prone. Prone, flat-footed, okay. wounded, and immobilized. Gotcha. I thought she had those up for when she was dying still. Um, so I can't stand. I'm still laying down right. I can't stand because I'm immobilized. That would be correct. All right. Battle medicine is one action. You have two actions left. Um, I want to cast. Um, let's see. I want to cast. <sighs> um, here we go. Here we go. Forbidding Lord on. 
Flint against the boar. Cinder, reflex save, please. <clears throat> Your movement speed is reduced by 10 feet until you leave the area. Uh, Your fire is still on the one board. It's still up. That boar is down. The, the boar is down. It's dead. Right. Okay, I'll move the fire to the other boar. Uh, are you able to move it outside of the range of the spell? Then I'll move first. That's 20. And then that should Two be one actions. And then I'll move it yep. onto the boar. All right. Go and roll that damage, then. Oh, sorry. Another D6. It's three. Woo, big difference. It's turn... It's going to move off of the fire. You can grab the area of effect and move it, Bobby. If you switch to the measurement thing where you picked up the... Uh, then you just grab the little star icon and drag it to where you moved it to. Is there even a star icon? Hold on. So click on the measurement tool on the left-hand side, measurement controls. You should yeah, have the one looks like a ruler. Uh, on right next to you where you put it originally, just grab hold I of that. Have, I didn't put it down, so that's the ah, issue. Let okay, me... so Mike would have to move it. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the... Oh. There, I'll just put a little circle. What is the big green area still? Entangled. That's the entangled. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Flint, you can get an attack of opportunity on this boar. Alright. Nope. I assume a 17 doesn't hit him. No, it does not. But does a 25 hit you? It does. Let me see if I can... 12 points of damage. There we go. All right, Merc. Ha! You missed me on the second one. Oh, no, that was damage, wasn't it? <laughs> Damn it. That was damage. <laughs> I thought that was a to-hit roll at first. Ow! You stupid pig! Mouse? Yeah. Reflex save. Alrighty, let me bring it up here. Are you going to record a video after our game tonight? Okay. Got a second. All right, your movement speed is 10 feet reduced. Wonderful. Um, 
What did you say this? The, you said this green circle was the entanglement. Correct. Yeah, the the ground just erupted. Vulnerable. <clears throat> All right. Well, let me see what I want to do to get out of this. Um, well, I'm going to take all three actions to stride, I guess, three times. That first boar in front of me is dead, right? Correct. Its body does count as difficult terrain, as does every step you take. Alrighty then, that's good, good to know. So what is so... Each square is ten feet. Right, so if it's difficult to terrain, each square inside the green is five, then? Let me double check what Entangle says. I think I might be crossing up my additions here. Because uh, I, I just I need to know specifically so I can figure out where I want to move. I mean, you could just shoot it. Okay, first edition Entangle was difficult terrain as well as you had to screw with everything. Now you just lose that 10 feet. So the only difficult terrain would be climbing over the boar. Okay. Um, but I can pass through uh, front though, right? If I wanted to go that way. Yes. Uh, risking any attack of opportunity yeah. the boar right. would have. Okay. Um, well, if I'm reduced by 10, I'll just take my chances. Like, or not, I'm not going to take my chances, I mean. So I'm going to cross... Try to cross over the boar um, and move uh, back here. Um, do I need to make a check to see if I got over the boar, or is that just because I think it would take two actions to move there? 20, with uh, what's 10, your base 25. movement speed? Twenty-five. So yeah, it's two five, actions. Five, ten. Because this was 30. 30. 30. Yeah, you can get there with two move actions. Okay, so I guess just with my uh, last action, um, I will uh, take a shot at the minus two with my bow, since I still got that out. <clears throat> well, that's... I got a 20, but I, that's at the minus two, so is that still crit? Uh, natural 20 bumps it up still to a critical hit, which will be normal damage, but target is stunned too. All right. So roll your normal damage. Give me an extra d10. Oh, d10, okay. For the crit. Yep. So 10 total. And we will mark that to stun two. Stun is fun because it is goes down every turn. Oh no, number of actions you lose. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah, stun lowers the number of actions. That was me. Here comes Dragon Claws. This is going to hurt. Just remember, guys, I love you. <laughs> I 
I don't feel the same way. Well, that's fair. Nope. Wait, are we rolling reflex or fortitude? Fortitude. Holy fuck balls. You're wonderful. If I just move a little bit further. Uh, everybody's gonna need to roll it, because the dragon would have stopped. <clears throat> Oh no, Mert crit failed. Percy crit failed again. Oof. Ooh. Uh, can I Cinder, use my hero point? You can! I am going to use mine as well. Oh, Since fuck yeah! You actually passed. Yes. Holy shit, Percy! Take <clears> your <throat> damage. Wow. <laughs> Merc, I'm sorry, that's still a crit fail, buddy. Yep. Oh, no, wait, DC 25. Never mind, not a crit fail. Let's see what the damage is. All right, so Jade takes half, Merc takes full, Percy takes none, Klaus takes full. Flint takes half. Cinder Flint takes I half. I can't use or Frosty because he already has a reaction. And I am done one. All right, go ahead and set your things as Jade goes to dying two. Uh, Klaus, did you set yourself to dying? I don't think you did. No, I don't do that. Uh, okay. That was its turn. Give me a flat check. Push yourself to dying two, please. Merc. All right. All right, here we go. Woohoo! Percy, what what you gonna do, Percy? I, I want to do battle medicine on Jane. That's one action, correct? Correct. Okay, I'm, I click the treat wounds thing. And when I hit the treat runes, nothing happens. You have to have a target selected. 
I do have her sucked in. Hmm. That is weird. It should be working. It pops up with like the little box. This is a medicine DC and trained DC ah, of 15. Okay. So you can change the DC since you're an expert in medicine. Okay. If you want to. If not, you leave it blank. Yeah. And then you just click the, uh, the roll button at the box. I want to kill him. Yeah, it didn't. It did not work. Okay. All right, just roll it off of your character sheet then. Forty-eight. Then. <laughs> I would like to um I will do a two action heal on Flint. Where is he? What what am I adding to them now? Is it twenty four? Uh, right, because you can cast third levels, or is it only? No, it's only second level. So two D ten plus sixteen. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my targeting. Like, I even have you targeted. All right, Flint, give yourself, remove your dying condition, give yourself wounded one. Cinder, I need a flat check from you. You go down to dying one. First action, it does nothing. Second action, it does nothing. Clearing its stun. How do I, I'm clicking on dying. How do I like make it more or less? I think I'm if you dead. right click on it, it lowers the dying condition. If you left click on it, it increases. Okay. I did it for you because you weren't doing it, but yeah. All right, we're going to give an evens odd roll as to which body this thing is going to savage. Go ahead and mark yourself back to dying two now. I'm dying three because, oh no. Is it only dying two? Yeah, because I was wounded one. Yep. Just thinking I went down another one. Mouse, flat check. Alrighty. I, should, I still have HP, don't I? What's she hitting me for? Yes, she healed me for 22. Oh. Right, that's what oh. I was going to forget. Then don't change your dying at all. You just got hit. <laughs> Alright, still flat check for me? Yes. Oof. Alright. I'll mark you to die.
as the dragon lands. Call me. Uh oh. Move. Uh, Percy, I need you to take that damage. Yeah, I had to step away. Come on. Oh, only take it once. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Click that heart once. What was her HP up before 34? Yes, it won't let me put it back on me. And then it's going to try to claw you. Oh, let me take it. I'm going to refresh my foundry. For you while you were refreshing with your back, uh, you are now dying too. Thank you. No problem. It's info here. She does not happen to have anything that will help. So she's going to stand up. Grab her bastard sword in both hands and swing at this dragon. All right. Oh no, not Jade. I'm gonna use her hero point. Oh wow. The NPC. Flint, what you gonna do? The dragon has landed. Mm, he's gotta stand up and grab his sword and swing at the boar. I don't know why it has me as blinded. Can't get some of the stuff to come off here. Uh, 
What's that one? Um, no longer enfeebled because I was just for that round. You are pr okay. You're getting off of the prone. You're no longer unconscious. Right. That should be it. Oh, I there wasn't letting me undo things. So, swing the board. Hit it. Do damage. It's my turn. Me combat. Um, Merc is still unconscious. Percy, flat check. Don't die, Percy. Damn it. <laughs> Cinder, flat check. It doesn't have me marked as unconscious. It undid it when I took the uh, dying away. The dragon says something to the boar in a language that Flint, as the you speak draconic. I don't. Okay, you don't know what the dragon said to the boar, but the boar is just glaring at you, but not striking. Klaus, give me a check. Right, there we go. Bear with me one moment, I'm checking something. The dragon says, none of you have anything to interest me. Take your friends and go. If I see you again, you will die. <laughs> and 
is just holding action as Jade She's not going to risky surgery it. <clears throat> She's trying to do first aid on Percy, but actually, Percy, do you have any heal pots on you? Yeah, I have two. Okay, she would have grabbed one of your heal pots and shoved it down your throat. Go ahead and roll that healing. and take that healing as she grabs the other heal pot does a quick scan around and just goes to the next person she can see that is down then What you gonna do? Well, the problem is I just don't see Flint surrendering here. And my game's paused on my side. You can't. There we go. I just there don't go. see Flint surrendering, being the follower of Gorham that he is. What the dragon say? Take your friends and get out of here. You don't interest me. Yeah, Dragon said you have nothing that interests me. Take your friends and go if you want to live. See, but I just think Flint tries to kill this day, Dom. And I think that's what he's going to do. And one hero point for playing the character. And then I crit him. <laughs> <laughs> Target slowed two for one round. So, uh, crit damage is that. And then he would turn and fight the. Well, I guess, is he still alive? Oh, uh, no. Holy shit. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, but he was still dying. <laughs> As it was calmed down from the fight, given the order to not fight, so just. You struck so, it, it was not ready, and died. Then he would turn and fight the dragon, miss, hit the dragon, miss. I'm going to be wounded too, one of them. And, uh, I only went down once. Okay. Yeah, you only went down once, so you're just gotcha. wounded. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Please, I'm looking something up. Don't forget, you did gain another hero point, though. 
Yeah, that was a guy who took the first one off, so I still got it. All right, so Mark, you're unconscious. Yep. Percy is <clears throat> dying too. I know you got heal. You got yeah. heal. Yeah. Okay. Percy, you so... wake up. And the dragon is looking down at you, and you see Flint still trying to fight it. You did not hear the dragon's offer. What do you do? Um, I assume if I stand, it's going to provoke. I don't know. How you, you don't know what this thing might have. Okay. But it would if it if it has something to provoke, it would get the opportunity if I stood. Like I just don't know how that works. Like any potentially, okay. yes. Um, let me do. I want to do a three action heal in my 60 foot cone towards my three amigos to my northeast. Shit. <laughs> now the dragon hasn't been touched, so you could. Oh wait. Oh, okay. I was oh, trying to. I was trying to see if you could catch Cinder in it, but you can't. You can just get yourself and the rest of your. Okay. I just took that for myself. Uh, you need to damage yourself a little bit, Klaus. Oh, no. You damaged yourself and healed yourself. Yeah. yeah, heal yourself again, because you got healed. I was, Oh, I got caught in that? Yeah, it's a 60-foot cone. She can oh. stretch it. Knowing the dragon hadn't been hit yet, she can make sure she gets everyone except okay. Cinder. And so, Merc, go ahead and take your unconscious condition off. Oh, yeah. Cinder, do you have your hero point left? Yeah, I haven't rolled anything yet. So, flat roll. Uh, you are at dying two. Yeah, flat roll. All right. You are at dying one. Oh. I think we both clicked it at the same uh, time. Good man. Same time. Turn. Klaus, you are conscious. You see the dragon on the ground over Percy. You did not hear the offer. What do you do? Uh, well, um, considering I didn't hear the offer, um, and nobody else has, uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'd stand up for my first action, um, 
and mark the dragon as my prey as my second action and pick up my bow for my third action. Let's see. You swung at the dragon, you missed. Let's see. The dragon. is going to step outside of your reach Now that more of you are awake, you may take your unconscious and wounded friend, and you may leave here alive. Have one more chance to walk away from this. <clears throat> um, I, I think we should probably take it, guys. Yeah. I agree. We're all going to die if we don't. And as a, a follower of Gorm, walking away from a fight is not anathema. Um... Right now, the dragon's stronger than you. Killing prisoners or surrendering foes, preventing conflict through negotiation, or winning a battle through underhanded tactics. That's, those are the anathema. So we want this to be negotiating for our lives, though? You're not preventing conflict. You came across a stronger opponent. You tested yourself. And... Now the opponent's willing to say the fight was over, that he's the victor, and you guys walk away with your lives. Okay. Aid is going to rush over to Cinder. Let's see, 10, 25, right there. And stabilize a cinder. So everybody's conscious now, right? Or stable, anyways. Yeah, no, yeah. I think so. I mean, I am. Yeah, I'm back up. Um, center stable. Okay. Uh, then Flint will. Maybe if I can figure out how to use this shit. Phone's gonna walk through 60 foot. Three action, sit on the steps. Mark, what you doing? Um, the cinder's still on the ground. On the ground, unconscious, but is no longer at risk of death. All right. I will make my way over to him, pick him up, put him over my shoulder, and then I'm just going to start walking away.
taking a way that does not put me in direct reach. Percy, what are you doing? I am going to follow Mark. Okay, so waiting on Merc to get past you? Yes. Klaus? I, um, uh, let's see here. I'm going to start, I'll follow uh, Merc on the way out. Um, Cinder, is, is he crowned or is he, is he up? Like, is he conscious? I mean, Cinder is on Merc's shoulder at the moment. Okay. He was. Unconscious. Okay. Okay. Because, uh, let's see, is everybody else conscious? Is Percy conscious at this point? Yeah, because she healed me. Um, yeah, everyone's conscious. Everyone's battered except the dragon who's just watching you nonchalantly. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll start. Um, basically, I'll do my full pre move actions. Uh, Towards towards where we came from. So I'll just go. Uh, I'll just go here. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Just get. Yeah. The dragon's gonna say now. Now that we're acting like civilized beings, why were you attacking me in the first place? The green hag told me to kill you. <clears throat> Which is why I'm not, because I don't listen to hags. Why are you here to kill me? Well, somebody asked us to come and uh, collect some of your innards. Yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Wizard or alchemist? I don't remember. She was a wizard. But not brave enough to come herself. That would have been nice. I could have used her book for my collection. Did the old hag say why she wanted you to kill us? No, she came here with a couple others and said that you've done her coven wrong and that you were coming to slay me and that I should be ready and to kill you without prejudice. Which way did the hag go? Uh, her and her coven, as far as I'm aware, fled the forest back to wherever they came from. I told her this was my home. If I were to kill you, it would be on my terms. Which is why I tested your metal and you weren't a threat. And if adventurers come into the forest and they don't come out, there's a potential that more adventurers come into my forest. And I like my forest. It is beautiful. Um, would you care if while we're talking to you, if I tend to myself and one of my friends? Uh, I'm going to pass on that. Um, okay. You were all healed enough to leave without dying. Fair. Okay. 
feel any more, and that I might think that you're going to threaten me again. Whereas right now, you're just a snack. Fair enough. I'd be inclined to agree. <laughs> yeah, um, let's let's go and have a talk with that that lady. And I'm certain that uh, Cinder's going to want to hunt down Smelly Grandma now. Yeah, I'm not happy with this bitch either. Yep, I say it's time to move on. Enjoy your hunt. If you come across any interesting books through your travels, I collect them. Maybe the next foolish group of heroes won't be as amiable to conversation. See you later. <laughs> um. And with that, the dragon flies up and just lazily circles. <clears throat> Let's get out of here, guys. Yep, we definitely need to leave this area. Yep. Which way did he say it was to the old smelly grandma? He just said that she left the forest. Oh, uh, okay. Well, are we going to leave the forest? Are we going to go back to the camp? I, I think we probably should go back to the camp. Yeah. To recover. Yeah. Do we want to just get out of dragon area here and do a quick catch up before we start our route? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. As you're going, <laughs> roll for initiative. Please go ahead and add the forceful trait to Gorm's Thorn. Boy. Ooh. As you tested your strength against an opponent that, without flinching, without fear, you have been granted the moderate boon. Any great sword you strike with will have the forceful trait. Nice. Shopping before coming home. And the fake dice, which is something I roll for story purposes was very kind to you. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Percy, I've got you visible to cast spells. Uh, Merc, are you casting anything? Uh, yeah, I still have two um, soothes that I can do. So I'll throw the first one on me. I'll just make everybody visible in case they need to do something for right now. And who else? Oh, I've got Cinder, so I'll hit Cinder with the last one. Okay. Oh, Cinder really gets healed. No, I need I need a hit too. That Did we win? My spells. No, um it let us live. What? Yeah. 
it let us live. We're not telling this story. Oh, wait, I still have three level one suits I can cast. So, yeah, so. I, I, say I can still do. Yeah, I'm down quite a bit. I'm limping. Treat me, um, please. I'll be fine. I can more than <clears throat> enough. All right. Who who wants me to hit them next? If you want to do Jade and Flint, I can do myself and Klaus. Okay. Klaus and Flint are looking the rough. Klaus, Percy, and Flint are looking the roughest. Jade's wounds are minor at this point. All right. Flint won't won't be saying a word, but you just see that he's limping, dragging a sword behind him. I will hit Flint. Jesus. Then I'll hit Flint a second time. So, Flint, you're going to get the six and the nine. The uh, six and nine. All right. How you looking? Uh, he looks like he's about half the man he used to be. All right. Percy needs healed. And who else? I do. But, um... Percy, are you gonna get me or what? Um, I I did. Oh, okay. Not for very much. All right. But so... I mean, are we walking? Are we stuck here? Like, I'll take a look at both of them and try and determine who looks like they're hurt worse. Oh God, I just buggered up. Oh. Uh, Klaus is the one who's got the worst of it now after Percy. All right. Wow. Klaus gets a max heal for my soothe. Nice. All right, I'm feeling a lot better. Is Cinder? Klaus, go ahead and give me a blind survival check. Is Cinder pretty bad? No, uh, Merc. Cinder's not bad. Cinder's Cinder's good. Cinder's a hero. <laughs> Your daughter's really loud. I know, I just told her to turn down the volume. Let me do that. Harley. Yeah. You find a good spot to make camp. And you're fairly certain that the only thing that could threaten you right here is the dragon with how close you are. All right. All right, so Cinder, <laughs> this seemed important to you, but that dragon said that Smelly Grandma is the one who told him to kill us, and that warned him that we were coming. Bitch. He said that she left the woods. I I think you need to go and have a talk with her. Oh yeah, we'll talk real good. Yeah, I'll go with you. All right, I'm all in for that. I mean, I've heard hags are panty, but she's literally followed us 100 plus miles. <clears throat> right. And the dragon said something about a coven. All right, so. So, yeah. Um, you know, if I could just strike up a flag and put on, like, an X and tell her to meet her at the spot, I would totally be down. But she seems like the kind of pain in the ass that just won't do that. Oops, I need to make that blind. Hold on. There we go. You know that a coven of hags means that they're more powerful than the individual, but that's all that you know. And uh, I'll pass that on. 
Uh, let me see what Cinder knows about smelly what, grandma. What kind that. of check would that be? Crabs, I do believe that be is. Home. Is there a box? Or so I think I brought out my tag sorcerer. It was a cult. Oh, it's, it's actually cold. society. Oh, shit. I don't know what more oh, you want to say. Try my best. You've said it all. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can try it too. I feel really good about this with my plus one. Yeah, it makes sense. One of them's tough. More than one's got to be tougher. Harley. Come here. There's this amazing thing that you own. You can put a reminder in. This jade. Oh, let me make a blind roll and see how that goes. Harley. This jade's trained in society too. Don't get mad at us. Yeah, and I'm just gonna use the first one. Um, with cat with hags, when there are three or more, you just don't want D to get hurt. Okay. They gain some additional abilities. Okay. She's not sure what, but that could explain why there was a veritable pile of homunculi, which normally... What was that, babe? You have to give your life energy for them to be able to function. So with the number of them, mm -hmm. that might have been something that the coven was able to do without Ten. doing that. Also, the way they were... The way she knows what's going on... That could be something that the coven's doing as well. So it might not necessarily be the the same smelly grandma we saw. Like the one who told the dragon could have been another smelly grandma. And what we'll do is any other spells, any other spells being cast for the evening? Um, if anybody, Mark is if anybody's got one, I'll need it. You need it, yeah. I mean, if we just all want to scoot together, I can do a three action. Yeah, that's fine. I'll... Yeah, how many fonts do you have left for the day, Percy? Two. Why don't you go ahead and blow both of those reaction heals and the group will heal up as best they can. No, uh, I'm good. Go ahead and heal up that 24. Close to full. Merc and Cinder, go ahead and heal those two. Hold on. I got Madeira. Herc feels much better. Uh, Percy, it looks like you need to heal for the 13.1. Oh. Since Cinder's away, I'll go ahead and heal him. I'm drying. It's just not working. 
I got you, homie. All right, alive. The night will pass without incident. You cut out. The night passes without incident. The rain gets heavier. It's heavier. And we'll see everybody next week. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching as episode 20 nearly brought on a T TPK. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, same saga time, same saga channel. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye.